Oh. Hello everyone, welcome back to Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. In the last one, um, you might want to watch it if you hadn't already. Well, we're in trouble, all of us, I think. We've basically all been shut in a school. Completely, like, unable to leave. Everything from the outside world has been cut off to us. And we're supposed to stay here forever? And then we get this little ultimatum that, well, you, you could leave. But the only way you can is if you kill somebody else. Great. And now everyone's been thrown into like this huge thing of like casting suspicion on everyone else, of course, right? Because why wouldn't you? <sighs> so now everyone's kind of weighing in what just happened. And here we are. And this is everybody. You must kill someone if you want to leave. My mind froze and my breath caught in my throat as I thought about that. I could feel a paralyzing fear slowly making its way through my body, dominating every last nerve. Seriously, what would you even do if you had that, like, thrust at you? I didn't even know how I would cope. The air hung heavy on me, pressing down like a weight around my neck. It took everything I had just to endure that weight. Jeez, chapter one, to survive daily life. So people kind of gave me some pointers on how this was going to go. Um, I could tell that they tried to do it without spoiling it. I will try to, to split these up as best I can relating to the story. We might have a couple of kerfuffles here and there until I get it right. So sorry about that in advance. But for as heavy as the air felt, all it took to pierce it was her sharp words. And? So, what are you going to do now? Hey. Kyoko, do you have an idea of what we should do? She seems very level-headed, right? So maybe she'll have an idea. Just stand around glaring at each other? Her pointed comment was directed at everyone in the room. It helped pull us all back to reality. <clears throat> right. She's right. Come on, Kiyotaka, don't lose it. You're like the guy, right? You're like moral fiber and compass. We can do this. Listen to me! Sometimes, even if you're nervous or afraid, you just have to step forward. I agree. Mm -hmm. Oh, don't cry, girl. Don't cry, girl. To forget such a simple fact. I can't forgive myself. I'm so ashamed. It's okay. I've never dealt with anything me? like this before. Please, someone hit me. I can't forgive myself. Someone hit me. Punish me. Whoa. Uh, Jesus. If you have time to yell about it, you've got time to do something about it. However. Perhaps, but what is the mission exactly? Stupid. Idiot. To look for a way out. Duh. What the... And we, like, totally need to find whoever was controlling that stupid bear and beat the hell out of them. I like your thoughts. But, but before we do all that, maybe we should take a look at the handbook. It's probably best to check out the school regulations Monokuma mentioned before doing anything else. This is fine. True. If we stumble around with no clue what the rules are, something like that might happen again. Someone told me to make her French. I actually started doing like my Franny voice for her and people seemed okay with that. Which one would you rather have? I'm not really sure because I can't really place her accent very well. Shit. Alright. Fine. So then... then let's hurry up and check out the stupid rules already. Alright, let's do it. Hope's Peak Academy e-handbook. Ooh, look at this. Very fancy. Makoto Nagi, that's me. After turning on my e-handbook, the first thing that appeared was my name. Well, he did say to make sure that you have the correct name. So we've done that. So just like Monokuma said, the owner's name showed up front and center. Then, from the main menu that popped up, I selected the school regulations icon. Okay. An itemized list appeared on screen. It was the school regulations. In other words, the rules being imposed on us all. Students may reside only within the school. Leaving campus is an unacceptable use of time. Nighttime is from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Some areas are off limits at night. Please exercise caution. Oh, so there is a curfew. I wonder if you get in trouble for wandering around after those times. We'll have to make note of that. Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and punished accordingly. Oh, crap. Well, I'm known to fall asleep anywhere. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore Hope's Peak Academy at your discretion. Okay. Violence against Headmaster Monokuma is strictly prohibited as is destruction of surveillance cameras. Damn it. Well, there goes my there goes my idea to kill him to get out. Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes blackened will graduate unless they are discovered. Additional school regulations may be added as necessary. Something tells me that's gonna happen as we go. 
Feeling a slight dizziness, I raised my face up from the screen. As I looked around, I saw the same stormy expression on everyone's faces. Stop fucking around! This is f bullshit! What the hell kind of rules are these? I'm not gonna let them control me! <laughs> well then, why don't you wander around the school without a care in the world and see what happens? Personally, I would love to see what happens when someone breaks one of the rules. However... <laughs> but if you got punished like what we saw before, I don't think there'd be a respawn waiting for him. Haha, <laughs> that was such a nerd quote. Seriously, don't, don't get yourself killed. Yo. I, ever since I was a kid, I grew up with my older brother pounding this into my head. When a man makes a promise, he has to keep it, even if it kills him. No, don't do anything stupid. And... So what? What? I made a ton of promises that I still have to keep, so that's what. Piece of shit! So I can't afford to die in here. <sighs> None of that made much sense to me, but you are saying you will follow the regulations. Is that it? That's true. Oh, well, yeah. I guess you're right. Um, um, I have a question. For regulation number six, what do you think it means exactly? Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes blackened will graduate unless they are discovered. That's rule number six. What does that mean? You're talking about the second half, right? Where it says, unless they are discovered? I was wondering about that myself. Hmm. All right, people didn't like my Edgeworth voice for him, so I'll try to calm it down a little. I just, we need to have somebody else with the Edgeworth voice, but I guess we don't have one this time. It's saying that if you want to graduate, you have to kill someone without anyone finding out it was you. B but why? Why do we ha have to do that? I don't see any reason to worry about it. Just worry about following the rules as they've been explained to us. Such ignorance. Frankly, I don't want to hear anything from someone who waits for others to decide what to do for them. Just don't jab at me. Give me a break. Something's going on with her. I feel a little bit of sinister from her. I bet you she's gonna have to be watched. She seems sweet and shy, but sometimes it's those people that go off the handle quickly. More like full-on stab. Hmm. Well, for now, let's forget all that silly junk about murderers or whatever. Okay. Now that we know the rules, let's start exploring the school. Is this Morgana's voice actor, by the way, from Persona 5? I forgot. Oh, I forget her name now, but it sounds just like her. I think it is. True. We need to find out exactly where we are. Is there any way out? What about food and supplies? You understand? There are tons of questions we need to answer. Let's do it. Damn straight. Okay, then let's all start looking around. Hm. I'll be going alone. What? What? Why? That's a pretty stupid idea, don't you think? Hm. Someone here might already have started thinking about murdering one of us. Are you saying we should stand around with them in our midst and make it that much easier? Something tells me, though, if you're alone, it'll be much easier. Because nobody will see what happened to you. I don't know, hold that's just me. Hold on a second. Wait, hold on a second. That would never... What? Don't bother saying it couldn't happen. You can't deny the possibility. That's why you all seized up with fear when that graduation rule was made clear to you. <laughs> Am I wrong? Uh, um, but... You're right, darling. So I'm simply acting in accordance with what I think is best for me. So this Just dude's like always looking after himself. I get it. Sometimes you gotta be that way, I guess. Hold on like hell, I'm gonna let you run off and do whatever you want. What? Out of my way, Plankton. Wow. <laughs> is this is is that a SpongeBob reference? What? Oh, no. Plankton's like the worst. What the fuck's that supposed to mean? Such ignorance. One tiny bit of plankton drifting across the sea. Oh, these two are gonna have a, a fucking row in a minute, right? So minuscule, so insignificant. They couldn't possibly have any kind of influence on the boundless ocean. Y'all! But have you seen SpongeBob? Have you seen all the trouble plankton causes? You're fucking your word, dead. Man. I'm gonna kick your ass! <laughs> oh my god, excuse me, jeez. This will be the most voices I've ever done in this quick amount of time. And I've done Suikin in LPs. Stop it, we shouldn't fight. What? The fuck you just say? You some kind of goody goody little bitch? You wanna throw down? Who do you think you are talking to me like that? You think of my fucking dad or something? No, I wasn't. You son of a bitch! Fuck you! Sorry guys, that's what it says. Did he just hit us? Oh. He punched me. Wow, he got really mad. Gotta work on that anger management there a little. And I flew back in a heap. Holy shit. It was like something straight out of a comic book. Man, Makoto cold clocked right in the face. I didn't even see the punch coming. It was just suddenly right there in my face. Well, we didn't even piss him off. It was Byakuya that did that. 
Jeez, he should get punched. One second I was standing there, the next I was soaring through the air. Now that I think about it, maybe I'd kind of forgotten the kind of people I'd been trapped here with. My common sense had just stopped functioning. Being around all these ultimates had blown my fuses. So I guess I shouldn't be surprised it led to something as absurd as this. But I'd just lost track of that sense of reality. That was my last thought as my consciousness started to fade. Knocked him out? Jesus! Wow, that must have been some punch before it finally cut out completely. Do you were right. Jesus Christ. What if we can't fight amongst ourselves? This is like the worst thing. This is probably what Monokuma wants. When I finally opened my eyes again, what I saw was... Where are we? What's this place? Ugh. Huh? Where am I? As if it had become part of my daily routine, I woke up in yet another room I'd never seen before. Okay, so... Where am I now? This looks like a, our room, maybe? Someone's room. You now have access to the handbook menu. You can use this to check a variety of information as you play. Open the handbook menu by pressing the F1 key. You can use this menu to check the school regulations and character info in the report card section. At certain points, map and truth bullets may not be available. Truth bullets? What in the world is that? You can also save and load game data under the system section. Oh good, at least we can save where we want, can we? Finally, press the F2 key to review the transcript. Okay, that's like in case we missed some dialogue, gotcha. This records our pertinent info, so use this to review comments from everyone involved. Probably gonna need that. Let's open that up quickly first and just see what it's about. So here's the map. It does not say where we are, does it? It just shows it, so we could be anywhere here. Truth bullets, I don't know what that means. Review evidence of witness accounts you've made a record of. I guess that'll come in later. Presence. Review what personal belongings you have on you. What do we have? Nothing. A bunch of nothing. Let's just scroll. Okay. <laughs> scroll through just to make sure. It looks like we've got nothing. A fat load of it. Oh, good for us. I'm sorry. This is probably super nice. No, I can go faster if I just do this. Oh, we have one thing. Proof that you cleared the prologue. It's a patch that... Alright. Is that all we have? That's it. Sorry, guys. Alright. Uh, report card. Review the report cards for each student at Hope's Peak. Well, isn't that classified information? Excuse me. Here's us. Name, height, 5 foot 3... Ooh, we're a bit short. Sorry. Weight, 115. 29. Why do you need to know my chest? That's none of your business. Ultimate, lucky, unlucky student. Oh, we can't scroll from here, can we? Huh. Oh, no, we can. Chihiro. Chihiro is 4 foot 10, 90 pounds, 28 inch chest. Why are they giving us our- that chest measurement is such a Japanese thing, isn't it? Special ability ultimate programmer. Okay, so it just basically tells us everything. Jinko is 5 foot 7. And I feel bad that I'm looking at all their chests. 51 inches, girl, I'm telling you. 6 foot 4! Good god. Five foot four, yeah, all, basically these are all things we know. I want, this might change later, who knows? We still don't know what her ultimate ability is. It's nice that we get these nice pictures of them though, isn't it? Look at that. That's everybody, all right? That might change, so we'll have to keep a look on that. Your rules and regulations, we already looked at that. System, I'm assuming, yeah, okay, so load, transcript, options, kind of options do we have, I don't even know. Now, I was actually thinking that the background music was still a little bit loud compared to the voices. I have the voice all the way up, but I really want to hear the voices well, so we'll see what we can do about that. Rectical speed, I think that's the mouse thing. I haven't really needed to do that yet, so let's just, uh, all right, so we've got that. Now, it looks like there's a lot of stuff to look at here, so let's just start by looking at everything. It looks like there's something in the drawer. It's a toolkit. It must be brand new. It's still in the shrink wrap. I don't really need it right now, so I'll leave it here. All right, let's remember that that's there. It's a notepad. I guess the school must have given one to each of us. All right. Um, oh, yeah, we can look at the bed. There doesn't seem to be anything particularly strange about the bed. What's this? It's some kind of lint roller. I guess we're supposed to clean up after ourselves? Well, you do have to, I mean, being tidy. Oh my, there's a camera right above the bed. Look at that. Ew. A surveillance camera. 
I hate the idea that someone might be watching me right now. We're not allowed to mess with the camera, so I better make sure I don't touch it. No fapping for any of you! There's some kind of metal plate mounted here? Maybe that's where all the windows were. Alright. This must be the key to the room. Yeah, it has our name on it. My name's written on the keychain. Which means it must be mine, right? I'd better hang on to it for now. Alright, we've got our key. Anything in the trash? Check everything. Just an everyday trash can. I don't see any kind of trap door hidden compartments or anything. Nice! What did, what did I just get? I got coin, did I? What was that for? Oh wow, look! The, guys, I'm gonna be honest, that shadow just scared me, I'm sorry. I'm such a baby! Some kind of monitor. Ugh. How come the monitors freak him out so much, I wonder? There's a piece of paper hanging up on the wall which says... Announcement from Headmaster Monokuma. Each room's lock has been designed to completely protect against tampering or lock picking. Remaking an individual room key is quite troublesome, so please make sure not to lose yours. So the rooms are safe, are they? Maybe that's what they're insinuating. Your room comes furnished with a shower, but please note that water is turned off at nighttime. I wonder if that's important for anything. Also, the bathrooms in the girls' room include a lock of their own. Finally, we've prepared a small gift for each of you. For the girls, a sewing kit. And for the boys, a toolkit. The sewing kit includes a map of the body's vital organs. One stab will do the job, girls! For the boys, we believe a strong blow to the head with any of the tools should be ample. Oh, so he's giving them the means to, like, hurt people. That's ridiculously fucked up. Don't think, just feel, and let's all enjoy ourselves. This is fucking madness. I crumpled up the sheet of paper and threw it in the trash. Can we go in the bathroom? This would appear to be the bathroom. Is it not open? Huh? It's not opening. I guess it's locked. Well, how am I supposed to pee up in here? What if I gotta go? Did I look at everything, do you think, guys? Let's take a look. One more look around. Lamp. Can't go that way. This is probably the same, but let me just make sure. Metal plate to keep us all trapped in here. I checked that. I checked the bed. Anything over here? No, it looks like I've done it all. Let me check the door. Looks like this door leads outside. It's locked. So some of the rooms have locks, huh? Seems like it. I think I'm starting to understand. This room must be... Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and punished accordingly. This is my assigned dorm room. Someone must have carried me here after I fell unconscious. I wonder who it was. So that answers that question. The next question is... What's everyone else up to right now? Hmm... There's only one way to find out. And that's to get out of here. Is it safe? I guess we have no choice. Let's go. Leave the area? Yes. I probably could have just pressed R. Didn't we do that before? Probably. I rushed out of the room to meet up with all the others. But there was someone waiting for me there. It was like something out of an old TV show. Who is it? Wham. <gasps> oh no, I'm sorry. Who did I run into? Oh... Sayaka, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to oh. do that. Sayaka? I'm so sorry, you're right. Sorry. Are you okay? Oh, this is so cute. I I'm fine. I hope you're okay. I'm alright. Sorry about that. She had an embarrassed smile on her face. I stood up slowly. It's okay, honey. I'm really sorry. Are you okay, Sayaka? Are you hurt? <laughs> you make it sound worse than it is. I'm completely fine. I know how I look, but I've actually built some pretty good muscle jumping up and down on stage. That's good, then. Um, um, are you okay? You know, from when Mondo hit you. That's true. I got knocked out right there in front of everyone. I guess I revealed my lack of cool right from the beginning. It's okay. Lakota. He sucker punched you, dude. You didn't even see it coming. Oh, uh, I'm fine. Nothing wrong here. That's good. That's good. I was kind of worried. Thanks. She's nice. At least there's some nice people here that won't punch me in the face directly, maybe. By the way, what are you doing here? Uh, um... Actually, I came to get you. You came to get me? Um, well, listen. if you really are feeling better, I was hoping you could come to the dining hall. The dining hall? You see. After you got knocked out, everyone decided to go and do their own thing. We decided it would be more effective if we split up to investigate. So we agreed to get together later on and talk about what we'd each found out. So, does that mean it's almost time to get back together? If that's what's going on, then of course I'll go with you. 
That's good. Good. I'll go on ahead and meet you at the dining hall then. Oh, okay. So she was basically telling me where to go. Um, well, let's look at the map because I don't recognize. Oh, look. Oh, everyone's faces are here now. Oh, this must be the top floor. It certainly is. Would it behoove me? Let's get punched in the face again. <laughs> it looks like there's some kind of nameplate. The doors themselves all look pretty much the same. I like these little sprites. Can we open the door? No, maybe, maybe it won't let me because I'm actually supposed to be doing something right now. Oh my God. Hello? I don't even want to walk in. It's just more of a school, isn't it? This isn't the way I'm supposed to go, though. But I- Oh, wait, no, it is. It is. What's the trash room? I suppose that's just garbage. And then there's like- It looks like there's like a laundry room. I don't know what the underwear means. Maybe that's... What is that? Let's go look. I'm curious. This- This has got to be... Everyone's meeting up the dining hall. Oh, okay. It's not gonna let me look until I go. That's fine. Oh, it's the bathhouse. Of course. They don't want us to be smelly. Well, this must be the dining hall here. Let's just go. Whoa. That's always a bit trippy, isn't it, guys? Oh, hopefully I'll get used to it. This must be the dormitory dining hall. It actually looks kind of nice. And look, you can see things outside unless we're like, again, like Logan's run in some kind of like geodesic dome. And we're all just stuck in here. But it's nice um, that you can see trees, at least. It looks pretty clean, so that's good. Um, I guess it's not really important right now with us being prisoners here and all. No, cleanliness is important. Yeah, that's true. You don't want it to be like a dirty, like, gulag prison. Nobody was there waiting for us. Then, wait, did- why are we here then? Did you just not want to come here by yourself? We don't really have much choice. I guess we should wait here for now. Okay, let's just wait here. Huh? You heard that? Like I said, I'm psychic. But are you really? You said you were kidding before. <laughs> Come on, I'm just kidding. Seriously, I have amazing intuition. Is it really just intuition? That's strange. It's kind of sudden, I know, but here comes a tutorial. Oh! Right now, I'd like to talk about reactions. You're gonna be talking to Sayaka, right? Well, while you're talking to her, some purple words are going to appear. Here's how they work. When purple words show up, if you press the right mouse button, you'll go into reaction mode. At this point, you can use WASD buttons to make a selection, and the left mouse button to confirm it. Also, when it comes to that dialogue, you can review whatever you talked about to look for more info. Talking to someone about things like this is called a reaction. Okay, do your best to enjoy your ever-important school life! Oh. Okay. Ah! Have you gone ahead and used it already? Well, that's just wonderful. Make sure you keep it in mind as the story keeps moving forward. Can you guys give me tips on how that's supposed to work? I hope I can't fuck hey, this up. Um, by the way, Makoto. Huh? What is it? Um, well, it's just... I know this is kind of continuing the self-introduction thing. But I wanted to ask you something. Oh. Oh, I see. Oh. Use the was to... Continuing our self-introductions? Uh, um, we kind of got cut off before, but I had a question I wanted to ask you. Saiko wants to ask me something? I wonder what it is. Now I'm really curious. What is it, darling? Hey, um... By the way, Makoto? Huh? Um... Well, it's just... Oh. I wanted to... Okay, wait, so... Can someone explain this to me like I'm five? Can I do all of them if I didn't do the... Maybe I didn't do the right one before. Is that what it was? What did you want to ask me? Hmm, Mikado, did you happen to go to Blackroot Junior High? Were you maybe in class too? Yeah. Actually, I was. So they have met before. Ah, I knew it! I went there too! I was in class four though. Do you remember me? Do I remember? Even back in middle school, she was a celebrity with all kinds of ultimates surrounding her. How could I forget? Almost as surprising as her question was that she remembered me. We never even talked to each other, but somehow she still knew who I was. Hey, um, hey, are you okay? Oh yeah, I'm just surprised is all. I, I wouldn't have thought you'd remember me. <laughs> we went to the same school for three years. Of course I remember. Well, that's true, but there were a lot of students in our grade, right? Plus, I've never been the type of person to ever really stand out. I'm average at everything, and all my hobbies are totally normal. 
No, even normal would call me boring. Aww, what are you talking about? You're so strange. Strange? That's... Haha. <laughs> She started giggling even louder. The somehow mysterious smile of hers made my heart grow calmer. Alright, well, real talk. And like I said, I'm just gonna be spouting out thoughts as I go. You know, it could be real thoughts. It could just be theoretically spurting out diarrhea out of my mouth. But I don't, I don't necessarily like to trust the nicest person that comes across to me the first time they come. You know, like when you see that one person who's suddenly super nice to you in the beginning, those are usually the ones I trust least. Maybe I'm wrong about this, but sometimes I can't get away from that. Her smile was the nicest smile I'd ever seen. That's good. Anyway, I'm really glad that I know somebody here. <sighs> Talking to you has made me feel a lot better about all of this. I'm glad. You're amazing, Makoto. Uh, no, I'm really not. I'm nothing at all compared to you ultimates. <laughs> but you're the one that finally helped me find my courage again. Not any of those ultimate students. Thanks for saying that. Okay. And to thank you for helping me out, I'm going to become your ultimate assistant. My assistant? <laughs> yeah, I'm your assistant now. I'm going to help you out as much as I can, so let's get out of here together. When she says things like that, it gets me pumped up. Mm, so either, either she needs somebody to latch on to because she's afraid. Or she's got a plan. I hate doing this because I don't want to set anybody up for the wrong thing. But you always got to keep that kind of stuff in the back of your mind in a situation like this, maybe. Everyone else is still late. I bet you they weren't even supposed to be here. I bet you she called us here by herself. Besides that, I don't even know what time it is right now. There must be a clock around here somewhere. There's one right up here. All right. Uh, so what time is it right now? What, seven o'clock at night? Uh, um, you were unconscious for a pretty long time. Oh look, it changed to nighttime in the top left. Okay, that'll be helpful. I see. Without being able to look out a window, I've lost all sense of time. Did everything turn blue because of nighttime? That'll also be really helpful. If I have to stay in this place for too long, I might just go crazy. Hey, um... Come on, we've only been here a day. I can't believe no one's here yet, but I'm sure they're not showing up soon. Almost like he timed it. Taka threw open the dining hall doors right away as Sayaka said that. Oh, here they all come. Hey. Ah, Makoto Sayaka. So you got here first, huh? Too bad. I was sure I would beat everybody here. I guess that just means I don't have enough fighting spirit yet. Well, I won't give up. Next time I swear I'll win no matter what it takes. Justice shall always prevail. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's a bit much, don't you think? Jeez. And soon after that, everyone else came strolling in one after another. After a few minutes, everyone had gathered in the dining hall. Is everyone actually here? Yep. Okay. It looks like everyone's here. Mm -hmm. Time to start the meeting! Alright. Let's all go around and share what we found out during our respective investigations. Sounds good. The sooner we find out what's going on, the sooner we get out of here. Okay. Hold on a sec. Wait, like, hold on a second. What are you talking about? What's wrong? Hmm. What about... No. Oh, what's her name? You know, the silver-haired girl. <gasps> oh, oh, yeah, Kyoko. Hmm. What about her? Aww. She's not here. I hope she's okay. I took another look around the dining hall. Sure enough, she was nowhere to be seen. Um, I wonder where she went. Has anyone seen her? But everyone just shook their heads. Huh? Wait, so nobody's seen her? Why hasn't Kyoko shown up yet? Could it be because... Oh yes, no. Indeed. Stabbing, strangling, bludgeoning, crushing, hacking, drowning, igniting, how you do it, doesn't matter. You must kill someone if you want to leave, it's as simple as that. <laughs> the rest is up to you. Give it your all to achieve the best outcome in the worst way possible. I hope she's okay. Is it possible? Will she really- No, 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 no. I'm just overthinking things. <laughs> Darn it, Kyoko. You're really going to be late like this the first day of school? Not only is she late, she didn't tell anyone she would be late. A most unbecoming personality trait. Come on. You're being a real jackass right now, you know that? Mm. Well, what do you want me to do? Punctuality is everything. You hear me? Now then, I declare the first session of Hope Speak Academy's briefing meetings has begun. Um, um, Makoto, actually, first of all, I've talked enough. Maybe we should listen to what everyone else has to say. Okay, let's do that. <laughs> you know? Huh? What's up? <laughs> 
feel like I really have become your personal assistant. Don't you agree? <laughs> I may not be the best assistant in the world, but I'll give it everything I've got. No, you've already done so much as my assistant. Oh, so, well, do I have anything else to talk to her about? Um, okay, so since you're in the dark about all this, let me lay out what's been going on. Everyone split up to investigate different parts of the building, but... You see... Byakuya and Taka each went off on their own, and so did Kyoko. So, our, guys, without spoiling anything, can I ever make, like, a decision, like, one decision, and then not go back to the next decision? Like, in, in other words, if I, is there going to be a time like this where I pick, like, Byakuya, but then Taka will be gone? So I should have picked that one instead? Just let me know. Oh, shoot. I didn't do the thing. Oh, God. Oh, God. I guess, can I go back to it? Oh, see, I've already, I've already messed up because I pressed the wrong button. Okay, let's see if I can do that again. Hopefully this game is not going to be too... Um. Oh, no, it looks like I, we can actually do it again. You okay, see. so let's do Byakuya. I wanted to try and find some clues to who's responsible for imprisoning us here. But unfortunately, I made so such, no such discoveries. That's all for me. See, we can find out what they did, can we? Really? That's it? If I'd uncovered anything, naturally I would have more to say, but I didn't. So I don't. Right, understood. Oh god. So can I keep going? I, I guess I can um, keep going back, it looks like. Yup. You see. Alright, let's do Taka. It's gonna take me a minute to get used to this. I spent some time looking around the dormitory and... Listen to me. There I made the discovery of the century! I found that there was exactly one room for each person. Uh, well, yeah, I figured that out before anything else. Yeah. Yeah, each door like already has a nameplate on it, so I guess like all the rooms have been assigned already. And each room key was attached to a keychain with the owner's name precision etched onto it. Hey girl, how you doing by the way? Which confirms that the room I was in earlier is in fact my room. And plus. And Chihiro and I found out that all the rooms are totally soundproof. Oh. Well, that'll help for later, won't it? Wait, um, what? Your next door neighbor could scream their lungs out and you wouldn't hear a thing. Oh. <laughs> Well, each room also has a private bathroom, which could also lock. Hmm. But it looked like there was only locks on the bathrooms in the girls' dorms. Huh? But when I checked my bathroom door before, it definitely seemed like it was locked. That's weird. I should double check that later. Hey, come on. Alright, so they got a bunch of rooms ready for us. They're assuming we're gonna be here a while. Quiet down and listen! Well, better to have than not. At least we don't have to worry about surviving like wild animals. That can't be all you have to report, can it, Mr. Honor Student? Oh dear. Got it. That's all for my report. Let's move on to whoever's next. So I, t I take it that she's gonna again. We want to do all of them. Right, right. You see. Byakuya and Taka. Looks like Leon here and Junko and Chihiro all grouped up together. Oh, this is all one. Okay, tell me about that. I, I was worried. I thought I'd do them all. Jeez. We went all up and down the school, double checking the windows and all the hallways and classes. We wanted to see if like, we could get any of those metal plates to come off. And what happened was... Hmm. Uh, nothing. Not a damn thing. We couldn't even get a single one to budge even a little bit. What should I do? There wasn't any hope of escape anywhere. The school really has been totally cut off. This is bad. This sucks. Bad, bad, it bad, It really bad, bad. sucks. It sucks, 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 sucks. What the hell are we gonna do? Hey, come on! God damn, calm down, you're starting to make me nervous! She, well, I mean, I've got good reason to be. Um, yeah, okay. Sorry, I'll just I'll skip see. by the stuff we've already looked at. Okay. Hina, Sakura, and Manda. Let's do that. We thought maybe we could find some way to communicate with the outside, so we went looking all over. Sorry. But we didn't find a thing, sorry. Yo. I went back to the main hall thinking maybe we could do something about that giant hunk of metal. What? But even with Sakura and me what? both, it wouldn't budge. We hit it with dust and chairs and nothing. Dude, wow, shit. both of them together couldn't budge it. That's serious. It was hard as, well, like metal. Yes, indeed. Well, yes, it is metal. Oh, this sucks. Anyway, if we're gonna get out of here, it's not gonna be through here. I feel as if I could cry. But no, I have to hold it in. I have to manage my hydration. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so 
sorry. I had to cough just a little bit. I am still just a tiny bit sick. Sorry, guys. So then. I shall tell you what happened next. It has nothing to do with communicating with the outside world, but it's still worth worrying about. In both the school and the dorm areas, there was a set of stairs leading up to another floor. But... But there were gates there and we couldn't find any way to open them, so we couldn't check it out. Hmm. In other words, at this point we're only able to search the first floor. However... We can further assume that there is potentially something above the second floor as well. And if that's the case, there's at least a chance it may lead to a way out. That's good to know. That's really good information. Um... Is there a way to, like, guys, is there a way to easily skip this you other see. than just pressing the mouse button really fast? Let me know. Because that might help me later. Okay. Let's see. If I'm being honest, I can't quite say we acted as one. Raza, we did nothing as one. We spent the entire time in the gym. Most unfortunate. Honestly, we are not exactly the types to go running around the school like a gaggle of junior detectives. What the hell's wrong with you? The hell are you thinking? Just sitting around the gym the whole time? <laughs> well, it's not like any of you have invited me along. Nobody said, hey, come with us. Uh, blame you for leaving me out. It's your fault. What the? If you wanted to go with someone, you should have just said something. <laughs> Forget it. Like I'd want to go anywhere the dirty slut like you. Whoa! We about to have a cat fight up in here! Slut? <laughs> your mind is as thin as your body. You make me sick to my stomach. Wow! She's so mean! Are you for real? Maybe it's from her insecurity, but still. That's no excuse to be so rude. I, I don't even know how to react. How can you say something so awful to someone you just met? Hey, come on. Uh, whoa, all right, guys. Everyone just calm down or eat. All oh, this stress is bad for your skin, you know? Uh, yeah, it sounds like you two are so close now. You're fighting like sisters. I don't think that's what's going on, Saika. Hey, um... So that's what they have to say, huh? Then I guess I'm the only one left. All right, what do you have to say? Um... I went and had a look around the dining hall. I found a fridge in the back of the kitchen, and it was overflowing with all kinds of stuff. That's good. I guess we don't have to worry about food, at least. What? Sure for now, but with all that, there are 15 of us. How long can the food last? Look, you might just have to lose some weight, okay? I, I, someone had to say it, and it was me. So let's just be honest here, okay? You're not going to eat all the food. <laughs> you can just eat s sesame seeds or something. Mm -hmm. uh, what am I, a parakeet? <laughs> I don't think we have to worry about it. All the food gets restocked automatically each day. How did she know that? Um, At least, that's what Monokuma said. Mm -hmm. Did he? You saw him? Okay. Yeah, he came out of nowhere while I was checking the fridge, told me that, and then disappeared again. He was so fast, I can't believe someone could have been moving around him without a remote control. That's... A weaponized toy that can just appear from nowhere? I can't tell if we're supposed to be afraid or not. But... But, was everything okay? He didn't try to, like, eat you or anything? Huh? Eat her? <laughs> What do you mean by that? I mean, when you say eat, we're gonna eat you're talking about. Ew! This is not the time for that, boy! Oh, come on, man! Hey, you bastard! What the hell, fatty? You're acting like some kind of sleazy drunk dude! Actually... Not like there's a good kind of drunk dude. Hey! Hey, stop screwing around like all of you! Are you still asleep or something? We're prisoners here, we could all just die any second! <sighs> She's yeah. right. We can't be making stupid jokes right now, we gotta do something or... A voice cut through the noise, interrupting Mondo. You're all spending an awful lot of time yelling and carrying on. Hmm? Oh, oh, sorry. I'm sorry, girl. I thought that was Monokuma for sure. It was actually you. I'm so glad to see you. Do you really think you can afford to do so? Have none of you accepted the reality of the situation? Yo! Kyoko, where the heck have you been? We already started the meeting without you. She didn't say a word. Instead, she just dropped a piece of paper on the table. Huh? What's this? It appears to be the map of Hope's Peak Academy. Map? What the? Where'd you find this? Don't we all have maps in the school handbook? What's the problem? Well, it doesn't matter where I found it. What the heck? It does matter. You're really freaking us out right now. But more important. No, never mind that. What's it mean? It would seem. Just look at it. The building we're in right now is laid out precisely the same way as Hope Peak Academy. So what you're saying is this really is Hope's Peak Academy? It's true. Well, in terms of its construction, yes. But it looks like it's had a number of strange renovations done to it. 
renovations. However, I don't know all the details yet. All I found was details about the first floor. Um, but then this really is Hope's Peak. We didn't get kidnapped and taken to some other place. Huh? So stupid, it's not even possible. This is where the country's future elite is supposed to come and learn. But, but if this is really Hope's Peak, where are all the other students? Yeah. Oh, come on, guys. Let's just stop talking about all this, you know, negative stuff. Aren't you worried, though? Things don't look good. Yo. Worried? What's there to be worried about? I mean, this was all planned out, right? The people in charge of Hope's Peak put this all together, right? <laughs> Man, if I got stressed every time something like this happened, I'd have an ectoplasm shooting out of my mouth. Ew. You know. Good things come to those who wait, right? So, let's just gotta chill and everything will work itself out, man. <laughs> What's your problem? Why are you laughing? What's so funny? <laughs> I am just happy, that's all. It seems splitting up to investigate was a good idea after all. <sighs> Haven't you been listening? Looking around was a total waste of time. We didn't find a way out. Didn't find who's behind this. We still have no idea what's going on. Oh. Huh? Is it not crystal clear to you what is going on? Are you okay with this? It is perfectly obvious that we have been imprisoned in some secret location with no way out. None of us had any response to that. Wash well, looks freaky. We didn't want to accept that reality, but it was staring us right in the face. <laughs> you didn't have to go and say that. I was trying not to think about it. No way out. We're, we're trapped here. What are we supposed to do? She's gonna lose it. It's very simple. If you want to leave, you just have to kill- Stop it! Don't even joke about that! Um... Everyone just calm down, please. We need to stop and think about what to do from here. Seems like- There's gotta be something we can do. <laughs> All we can do is adapt. Adapt to leaving our lives here from now on. That's- Live here? Are you saying we should just accept it? Do you understand? A lack of adaptability is a lack of survivability. Survival is not based on who is the strongest or the smartest. It comes down to who can adapt. Actually, as someone who has come out on top more than once, I have a suggestion. What? What do you mean? Hmm. We all understand that we are trapped here, which means we'll be spending the night. However, you all remember the rule regarding nighttime, right? By time from 10 p.m. to 7, some areas are off limits at night, so please exercise caution. Sleeping anywhere other than dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and punished accordingly. Right. Let's see. So regarding this nighttime, I think we need to add a rule of our own. What do you mean? <laughs> Going out at nighttime should be prohibited altogether. School regulations do not actually tell us not to go out at night. I would like to make it official. <laughs> but why? Are you okay the with The way this? things are now, every night time comes, we will all start to get worried and anxious. We will all be afraid someone might try to come and kill us. Huh? What? <laughs> if we have to worry about the night after night for who knows how long, it will wear us down in no time. I see. So you're suggesting we limit our activity at night as a kind of preventative measure. Indeed. However, unlike all the other rules, nobody can be forced to comply. We all have to just agree to follow it. What can we do? I see what you mean, but I think I can agree to that. It's like the little goth Lolita said, with something like that, we're just gonna self-destruct. Listen to me! On behalf of all the men here, I agree to comply. What? Hey, you can't just decide to speak for us. This is fine. So, everyone is in agreement? Good. <laughs> then if you'll excuse me. Huh? Huh? Wait, where are you going? Let's see. It's almost nighttime. I want to take a shower before it arrives. I hope you are so, well. So, goodbye. Moving with pure elegance, Celeste left the dining hall. Her behavior seemed so natural, I couldn't imagine anyone even trying to stop her. Um, so, you know, I guess it's pretty obvious where we go from here. We'll be spending the night, it looks like. Huh. Adaptability. Hmm. So, Mr. Chairman, what next? One person already left. Uh... Well then, what say we call an end to today's meeting? You understand? Like she said, it's almost nighttime anyway, we can reconvene blah 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 first thing tomorrow morning. Sorry, huh? reconvene. Do we really have to stay the night here? What can we do? We don't have a choice. We like can't go for long without getting some sleep. <sighs> so we this just have to sucks. give up. Oh, I, I like the sprite. Wow. The corn cob is very pronounced. <sighs> That's all fine and good for today, but what do we do tomorrow? So in the end... Our only option is to split up and look around again and let everyone know if we find anything. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Let's do that. Aww. We're done for today? Good, I'm exhausted. With heavy movements, everyone headed off to their private rooms. 
Can I save here? I think I'm gonna try to do that. And then the, I just don't know when it's gonna end is all. Um. I am ready to call it a day. We're gonna call it a day right now. And in the next one, let's hopefully get a good night's sleep if we can and see what tomorrow brings. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one, y'all. Bye.